Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third session of the X-Files game for the PlayStation 1. Sorry for the late start of the evening. As you can tell, I fixed up my overlay a little bit. Um, hopefully, the chat box looks a little better. If not, let me know. I may have to adjust the font size just a little bit. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah. There we go. Anyway, so, looks like seems to be a uh, good shape to me. So, on that note, let's go on ahead and get started. How's everyone doing tonight? Everyone doing fine? Everyone doing dandy? Sorry for the late start. Looks like I'll be, um, streaming a little later than usual. But, you know, whatever. So, last time on the X-Files, um, <laughs> I done goofed. And this game looks a lot darker than usual. I'm not a big fan of that, but that's okay. So, my virtual dub seemed to be, uh, screwing up. And, um, I actually needed to, um, restart my machine because for whatever reason um, it wasn't you know it was in power it wasn't capturing my uh, PlayStation 1 so I actually had to reinstall virtual dub to get it up and running again still long delay just FYI for the chat oh there's really not much I can really do about that unless I can let me go on ahead and uh... yes I blew up houses that's what happened <laughs> But, um, let me see. Properties. It's probably just, um, yeah, no, there's no way I can actually, uh, fix that. 
That's just probably Twitch on my end, bud. Sorry to say. But I'll try to get that figured out eventually, hopefully. But uh, we'll see. So anyway, let's go on ahead and head to the field office. We blew up houses. And it looks like the chat just refreshed itself as soon as I try to... Um, as soon as I uh, hit properties. And hi! Hi, Bonnie. How are we doing tonight? Okay, so what do we need to do? We're at the field office. Cook's not here. Is our boss around? No. Hmm. Well, let me uh, let me pluck uh, the file I have here. Hmm, I don't have any file. That's strange. Hello, Coffee. How are we doing? How are we doing, Coffee? So, we picked up something. So, we picked up something. I remember that much. We came out of the, uh... We went back home, so I wonder if I have to go somewhere else? Okay, no, I can't go there. So, obviously, I got done what I need to get done there. Um, mm. Back to the apartment, then? Hi, Michael! How we doing, bud? Oh, that, I am actually happy to hear that, Coffee. I'm glad she's enjoying my streams. Go up, meet the aliens. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Unless I have something in my answering machine? I don't know. Shit. This game is a lot darker. Can I just say that? This game has just gotten a lot darker. Is there a way I can actually uh, brighten that up? No? There's no way I can do that? Well, darn. Okay, well that's fine. Whatever. Okay, so I'm obviously supposed to go somewhere. We could probably go to the, uh, let's go visit our friend John Amos, see if he's got anything. Let's go to the crime lab. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Wilmore. How's it going? Good. How are you? You don't look so good. I don't feel so hot. What's wrong? I don't know. I think I'm coming down with the flu or something. Oh, that sucks. So, uh... Do I have anything for you? No. All right, well, it looks like I don't have anything for you, so sorry for wasting your time. Maybe I do have to go to the field office. God, and this game just got a lot darker. He's next to die. <laughs> I mean, it would make sense. It would make sense. By the way, I hope you guys like the update on the overlay. I did, um... Resize some screens a bit here and uh, also uh, sized up the chat a little bit as well as move some things around. So hopefully it looks a little better. Um, I might do some more touch-ups on it later um, on my free time. But uh, yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, 
Okay, hold on. I remember. I remember. I remember what's supposed to happen. We go in here. And hey, there's Mark Cook. Hey, buddy. Good news. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I cracked your case for you. What are you talking about? Evgeny Smolnikov, known head of a ring of Georgian smugglers. And I have a witness who placed him at the dock the night of Wong's murder. I ordered surveillance on his little love nest, and since this morning, we've accumulated enough evidence to warrant a raid. We leave ASAP the SWAT. A raid? The what site. the fuck? No need to thank me. What the fuck are you on about? What? I have questions! What about Astadorian? You should call and tell her what you're doing. Oh, fuck me. Done. <laughs> Already left her a message. I'm the Martha Stewart of crime prevention. And if she gets her tuchus down here before we leave, she's welcome to play too. Okay, so, but why didn't you tell me about this? Why didn't you tell me about this? I was going to tell you. But the evidence just opened up this morning, and now we're going in. And besides, you were pretty much out of pocket yesterday, if I recall. Out of pocket? Excuse me, but this is my investigation. This is my investigation. Oh, contraire. This is our investigation. I mean, I'm just trying to catch the bad guys. You do remember that little thing we do, catching the bad guys? Oh, don't play that card with me. I'm not going to let you do this. Come on, man. What are you busting my chops for? That isn't like you. I'm just trying to do my job. Now, what are you getting all proprietary about? Clearly, that guy is undoubtedly smuggling plutonium into the Pacific Northwest. It's my guess he's a key to your missing FBI agents. So, suit up. Let's go. Do you have a warrant, at least? You have a warrant? What do I look like? Mark Furman? I have a federal warrant from a federal judge. Okay, who's the witness then? Who's the witness? What witness? Identified Smolnikov? Oh, yeah. Fred Kohler, 56, indigent. But sleeping under a tuna net not 50 yards away from the murder. Can we pull up the straw poll as well as uh, pulling up Discord if um, we haven't yet for our uh, good friend Michael? So with the straw poll, you guys, you are going to be voting uh, what Telltale game you want to see me play next. And also, also, before, before I forget, before I forget, before I forget, I need a proper vote. I need a proper vote on this. So uh, let me just go on ahead and uh, do this. And you have three votes, Michael. One vote per game. Choose three games out of those lists, and then uh, we can definitely go on ahead and go from there. The poll will close at the end of this playthrough, but I want your guys' honest opinion on this. I'm going to start this poll right now. One. For top three votes on wheel and spin, two, game with most votes win. Let's start the poll now. Let me go ahead and make that bigger. That way you can read the screen. Everyone voting, everyone in. Just play the fucking game. Three isn't an option, lol. <laughs> Alright, looks like game with the most vote uh, will win, so we'll de definitely go on ahead and just go through with that. Sorry about that, I just had to, because, you know, my... Um, Chat didn't answer me earlier in Discord, so whatever. Anyway, 
Let's go ahead and continue. We gotta do a raid. We gotta do a raid. And I don't mean on Twitch. I mean we gotta do a raid. On some Russian guy named Smolmakov. Mm. Mm. So let's go in there. And get ready for a gunfight. I made it my special option. <laughs> also, we are two followers away from doing a small giveaway, so keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Move that cursor out of the way. Where's the backup? I called Seattle PD SWAT boys. They're on the way. Oh, we should wait. I say we get this over with. Surveillance reported that Smolnikov entered the building alone. You were saying? After you. Oh my god. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, are we ready for a gunfight? I think we are. So let's go on ahead and say first before we do anything stupid. So, how are we going to do this? Let's go on ahead and pull out our gun and get ready to fight. Yeah, you're going ahead and do that and then, uh, boop. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Bring a knife. <laughs> Damn it! Well, that didn't go well at all. Let's try that again. So what you really need to do is... Uh, first off, let's pull out our gun. And we gotta ask for him for um, covering fire. Cover me. You got it. And once we are ready with that, we can go ahead and turn and get ready to fight. Fuck! This game is so dark, I can't do this. We can try. We can try, though. We can keep trying. Cover me. You got it. Man, talk about some covering fire. Yeah, fuck you. Yep, and then there's gonna be one guy right here. Boom, there we go. Okay, we're doing good so far. So let's go on ahead and save. Always want to save if you're in a gunfight. Always want to save. Okay, I'm going to go on ahead and keep pulling out my gun. Hmm... Okay, there are some stairs. Um, where the hell am I going? God! Ever since the frickin' screen got dark, I can't see for shit. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, this is unbearable. Oh my, okay. Obviously I'm doing something wrong. Am I supposed to go up these stairs? I know I'm supposed to, but it's not letting me for whatever reason. Why, well, yes, I am looking for shit. Aren't I always looking for shit, though? There we go. Turn around. Okay, we want to wait right here. And turn around and shoot him. I obviously missed, but... Yeah, no. I guess I hit him. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I guess I hit him. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Fuck off. Okay. Go upstairs. Downstairs, maybe? Damn. There we go. Freeze! Federal agent! Holy tears, guy. Don't move. Yapa doll in a magoosh style. Every now and then I get Good. a little bit get lonely here, and you're it. never coming around. Oh, <laughs> oh it never forgets. The bomb's attached to the wind. Stay Explosion. Explosion. What gives? Why are you here? I've done nothing. You have no right to come in here like this. This isn't Russia. Shut up. You're under arrest. I'll Miranda him. You secure the place. I spotted a 38 downstairs back left corner. How convenient. But let me see if there's a way I can actually, uh... If there's a way I can actually brighten up the fucking screen. Like, holy hell. It is so dark in this game. Like, it's ridiculous. No? There's no way? Son of a bitch. Alright, well, whatever. Alrighty, well, I guess he said there is a gun, so, uh, let's go find that gun. If I can finally fucking find my way up. Upstairs. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, man. I think ever since I had to reinstall V-Dub just now, I think my settings got a little screwed up. But, you know, it's whatever. I'll figure something out. Hopefully. At any rate, let me see. Where am I going? Am I going downstairs some more? Okay. I guess I'm going downstairs some more. Okay, so we want that evidence. Now, is there a way I can actually... Nope, okay. What's that? Mm. Hold on. Nothing looks like a payroll log. At least the previous one, anyway. And we got some more of those symbols lying around, so that's always nice. There we go. Hold on. Down here, and bam, here's our gun. No, it's not! It, and that's the weird part. All right, well, we found the gun, so only one thing left to do. Let's go on ahead and uh, take out our PDA. We're going to go to the crime lab. We're going to go to the crime lab and visit our friend John Amos. Of which, we kind of jumped the gun a bit, uh, but turns out that he's sick. And we don't know how he got sick, but he's sick. And I didn't mean to go to the field office. I am a dipshit. I wasn't paying attention. That was my bad. I'd make a great FBI agent. Ooh, and I have mail on top of that. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh. 
Auto D forwarded fingerprints. Me true asked me to forward the attached fingerprint file to you. They belong to the John Doe she discussed with you, Otto. Okay, well there's not really much I can do about that. At least not yet. Let's go back to navigation. Let's go to the crime lab. <laughs> Sup, bud? I got a gun for you. You want to check it out? I suppose you want me to fire that. You guessed it. Great. My headache just went away. I'm sorry. You really don't feel good, do you? Nope. Let's go. Sure enough, they all three match. Great. Thanks, man. I hope you're feeling better. Alright, before I continue any further, I just realized that my webcam is a little off-center, so let me fix that real quick. It was starting to bug me, that's why. There we go, and then... There we go. Cool. Alrighty, anyway... So now we have to go back to, um, now we have to go back to the Simone Costa warehouse. Now that we got the evidence, we can go back and, uh, prove that it was his gun. He gonna die! Wonderful at blowing up houses attached to water. I know, it's it's crazy, isn't it? And what's great about it is that when I go back to the warehouse, I don't have to navigate my way to find these people. It's 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 wonderful. I love it. Where's the plutonium you were smuggling? What? I handle all sorts of things, but never that. You are talking crazy. Where are the FBI agents? What are you talking about? We found the woman's blood in your warehouse. What warehouse? You're in my warehouse. Your gun shot her. We have a forensics match. I kill no FBI agents. Oh, no. Why did you kill Wong? Because he talked to us? What are you trying to hide? I didn't kill Wong. I knew him. He maybe did some work for me. But I didn't kill him. Alrighty, what about the Terracon? Why did you kill the Terracon's crew? I didn't kill nobody. They were my men. Why would I kill them? There was a fire. Right. A fire you set afterwards to hide what you'd done. I may be a smuggler, so are lots of people, but I didn't kill anybody. Alrighty, what about the payroll log? We have payroll logs from the Terracon that show that Wong worked for you. <laughs> documents not it ain't the voice acting wonderful, oh. <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> what did you keep in that warehouse? What do you mean? You're in my warehouse. I tell you, this is my warehouse. You make no sense. What do you want? We want you to tell us the truth. What about the gun? You're right, the 38. It isn't blank up. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get him downtown and process him. Come on. We'll interrogate him some more once we get to the sort of owl. Get the local police to secure the warehouse. Let's go. Well, that got nowhere fast. Oh, our phone's ringing. Let's go ahead and answer it. It's Amos. That boat you sent me onto was radioactive. What? That boat, the Terracon, had dangerously high levels of radioactivity. He sent me into a hot area. That's what's wrong with me. I don't have the flu. I have radiation sickness. Oh, man, John, I am so sorry. I don't know what to say. 
Just be more careful before you get somebody killed. So, turns out our friend John Amos got radiation sickness. Sucks for him. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know where to begin with that. Well, let's go to the field office. We did get some fingerprints, so we should probably head to the office. It's now nighttime, surprisingly enough. So that was a day. Blah -de blah. Glad we had this day. Had a small raid. Questioned someone that didn't want to give us some answers. Who seemed innocent, oddly enough. Alright, hold on. Um, so I want to go to my email. And I want to go to... Auto D forwarded. Let's see what we got here. So is it a citizen? No, it is not. Is it FBI? No data found, all right. Is it government military? Restricted data. Oh shit, so it was government military. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. And yes, you are correct. Mike is lurking. He's probably doing something with his kiddo or wife or something like that. Really not much else we can really do here. So let's just head home for the evening. And, uh... Let's prepare a knock. We're expecting a visitor. Holy shit, is it cold right now? Okay, there's a knock, so let's open the door. What the hell were you thinking? About what? Hi! I had my on the smugglers. I had turned that case over to the task force, and you two cowboys go running off shooting up a place without so much as a phone call? Do you have any idea how stupid I look? Cook set the whole thing up. Cook set the whole thing up. You are such a child. Don't blame this on Cook. You're running the investigation. Be a man. Take responsibility for your actions. Just as I was starting to like you, too. Do you need to get that? Uh, no, the machine will pick up. Well, fuck. I guess I just had you all wrong. Oh, don't be Agent like Wilmore, we must meet right away. Your actions are endangering the lives of Mulder and Scully. They are alive, but they won't be for much longer unless you act quickly. This has nothing to do with Russian smugglers. Sandpoint, Hangar 4, Dawn. Come alone, or I won't show up. I don't know what kind of ridiculous Twilight Zone BS that you're involved with. And you know what? I don't care. I only came over here to tell you one thing. Smolnikov was just released for lack of evidence. Well, fuck. Well, I guess there's really not much else we can do except go to bed. And it's all right, Mike. It's all right. You do you, buddy. Let's sleep this off. What a fucking day. I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself a drink. Before we continue. And we are supposed to meet up with this Mysterious person that gave us a phone call at a warehouse hangar. 
So, uh, let's go on ahead and do that. Oh, you know me, I got some Pepsi. Okay, Sandpoint Hangar number four. the hangar. Let's go on ahead and save before we do anything here. Call it a hunch, but um, I'm a little paranoid of our mysterious caller here. DJ Porter, how we doing, my friend? Can we get a shout out for Jay Porter to DJ, please? This is a guy that I raided yesterday. He was doing some awesome streams on Resident Evil 2 demo as well as um, of uh, The Last of Us and Super Smash Brothers. And he's a pretty cool dude. How are you doing tonight? Hi, Imaginatious. Oh, man. I am sorry to hear that, my dude. Hopefully you'll get better, though. Okay, this is way too dark, man. What the hell am I doing? Oh my goodness. Oh my good golly gosh, where in the hell am I supposed to go? <laughs> oh man. Oh, this way. There we go. <laughs> Found the right way. 7 a.m.? Holy shit, dude. Agent Romo. I'm so glad to see that you took my advice and came along. Perhaps you're not as inept as I had thought. We have very little time, so I want you to listen to me carefully. The most important thing is that you cannot tell anyone... So if anyone doesn't know who this guy is, no he is Mr. X. Not Cook. Say hello to Mr. X. Well, that Seattle police detective you've been teamed up with. Do you understand me? I need your word on this, Agent Wilmore. Or I won't help you. Who are you? Who are you? I have very little patience and even less time. Do I have your word? Yeah, I don't blame you, bud. Your health is more important, though. I can't make that promise until I know who you are. I can't make that promise until I know who you are. It doesn't matter who I am. I need your word, Agent Wilmore. I'm not going to promise anything. I'm not going to promise anything. That's very unfortunate, Agent Wilmore. Hey, put that thing away! Well, fuck! So, if we don't keep our promise from this guy, we die? Well, fuck. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do with Mr. X here is you want to keep your promise, obviously. Okay, where the hell am I going? I'm going that way. No, I am not. I'm going this way. And then I'm going this way. Okay, have a nice, fun stream, Deviant. Agent Romo. So, it's the mystery man. I was expecting someone a little more Sean Connery. I think that'll be quite enough, Agent Romo. We don't have much time, so I want you to listen to me very carefully. The most important thing that you cannot tell anyone that I was here or that we spoke. No one in the Bureau. 
Not Cook, not Shanks, nor that Seattle police detective you've been teamed up with. Do you understand me? I need your word on this, Agent Wilmore, or I won't help you. Okay. You have my word? You have my word. Good. Listen very carefully to what I have to tell you. Lives are at stake here. All right. Including your own. Well, shit. Mulder and Scully are still alive. So you said. But they won't be much longer if you oh don't boy. do something about it. Oh, boy. Scully and Mulder are not together. You need to find the Jane Doe that was checked into the Presbyterian Hospital in Gold Bar three days ago. She's about to be released. This has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with smuggled Soviet plutonium. How do you know about Mulder and Scully? How do you know about Mulder and Scully? If you're going to help Scully and Mulder, you're going to need something more than a gun. A stiletto? Men have died in order to possess this. I'm going to loan it to you for a short time. Because without it, there's no way that you could survive. The man that Mulder and Scully were looking for and the man that you need to find if you're going to save them can only be killed by inserting this blade into the base of his neck. <laughs> Dear the X-Files. How do you know what's his name? What's, what is your interest in all this? What is your interest in all this? This man is not what he seems. If the injury is not precise, he will kill you. Do not try firing a gun. Don't attempt to do anything except to use this. If anyone discovers that you have it, you're a dead man. And say goodbye to Mr. X, everyone. Don't forget the Jane Doe at Goldbar. And don't follow him, he will kill you. <laughs> Just a heads up, do not follow him. Whoa, take it easy, it's me. I can see that. You get grumpy when your asses run ragged, don't you? What are you doing here? Are you kidding? After that phone message, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Yeah, well, you better be careful or he may run your ass ragged. Well, I wouldn't mind that. It was kind of cute. Cute. Precious springs to mind. So, we kind of have a lot to talk about, don't we? Yeah, I guess we do. But first, Jane Doe and Goldbar. Alrighty. Let's go to Goldbar. And it is time to insert disc four. This is the final disc of the game. Oh boy! <laughs> Hello, Skinner. Do you mind not staring at me that way? Thank you. I'd appreciate it, bud. All right. Hello. May I ask your business here? Let's save. Might be a good idea. We're looking for Dana Scully. We're looking for Dana Scully. And who might you be? Um, I'm her brother. Her brother? Yes, her room is right down the hall here. Well, fuck. <laughs> Take it easy, Bonnie. I really can't believe I'm having to do this. After five years at the Bureau, you should know better. I need your badge and gun. Well, fuck. You're off the case! Huh. 
Okay, we're looking for a Jane Doe. We're looking for a Jane Doe. May I see some identification? Uh, of course. How did you know we were cops? Who else would come looking for a Jane Doe? That's a good point. What's your business with her? We need to make sure she's all right. Of course. What is her name? Why would you think we know her name? Why would you think we knew her name? Otherwise, why would you be investigating unless you knew who she was? That's a good point. So what is her name? We don't know. Thank you. <laughs> there are some forms to fill out. My office is right down the hall here. Damn it! <laughs> I really can't. All right, all right. Stop fucking around. Let's get let's get this show on the road. <laughs> there's there's many ways you can fail this, but uh, here's what we need to do. We're looking for a Jane Doe. May I see some identification? Uh, of course. How did you know we were cops? Who else would come looking for a Jane Doe? That's a good point. What's your business with her? We need to make sure she's all right. Of course. What is her name? Dana Scully. Dana Scully. Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. Walter Skinner. Walter Skinner. This is her room behind me. Thank you. So, how is her wound? How is her wound? It's begun healing. It was mostly superficial. As to her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. Well, damn. Is she ready to leave yet? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life-threatening, but she might not find it very pleasant. Has anyone else come to see her? Oh, no. Thank God you're the first. How did she get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium detective. Hello, everyone that's joining in the stream the right now. As a conventional hospital, nor would we follow them. Hopefully, you're about reaching the, the end of our condition. third session of the X Files game on the PlayStation One. What other condition? I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, so I've been treating the symptoms: lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. Okay. Don't do anything to freak her out. Don't point your gun at her. Don't use your lockpick on her. That's a game over. <laughs> so don't do that. Anyway, let's go on ahead and see Scully. Are you Dana Scully? Who are you? Agent Wilmore. Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? A black man? A black man. What black man? We don't know his name. So, That's ridiculous. while you she... explain yourself or I'm calling... Plot the stiletto. The man who gave me this. All right. He told me I couldn't tell anyone about it. Let's talk. Yeah, if you didn't pull out your stiletto, that would have been a game over. So, how do you feel? How do you feel? Very weak. But actually, I feel a lot better than I did when I first came in here. All right, where's Mulder? You have any idea where Mulder is? I have no idea, but we need to find him. Agreed. Could you have radiation poisoning? God, I hope not. But I suppose the symptoms do line up. Alrighty, what about the Terracan? Where does the Terracon fit into all this? Well, one way or another, they were involved in smuggling. I think that's a given. I think that there was an accident at sea involving plutonium, and Mulder thinks that they were somehow killed by an EBE. EBE? EBE? Extraterrestrial biological entity. 
Well then, so aliens are involved! Dun dun dun! <laughs> Obviously, because it's X-Files. What happened in the warehouse? Mulder and I observed some suspicious traffic in and out of the warehouse. We went in to investigate. We were attacked by a number of armed men. Lobster. I was shot. There was an But that's because light. I haven't had lobster in a very long time. Mulder carried me out of the warehouse. I blacked out and I woke up here. What is this used for? You shouldn't show that quite so openly. I don't know what it's used for. Perhaps Mulder can tell you. Okay. So what did your autopsy on the Terracon crew reveal? What did your autopsy on the crewmen reveal? The crew had all been exposed to levels of radiation consistent with a large-scale nuclear blast. Now clearly that didn't happen, but Mulder took that as proof that a UFO had landed in the area and that an alien life form aboard the craft had irradiated the Terracon crew. I take it you don't subscribe to that theory? There is always an alternate explanation. Okay. I'm afraid that's all I have to offer. What can you two tell me? Well, there have been other burn victims. I hope that doesn't mean that plutonium is being transported. There's an unidentified man involved. We encountered him at the burn site and then later again at the hauling yard. We found a connection between the warehouse and the hauling yard. It's a trucking outfit in Charno, Gordon's Hauling. They've made numerous deliveries between the warehouse and a rural route that we haven't had a chance to investigate. Seems to me that we need to find the identity of the man from the hauling yard and that you two need to pay a visit to the rural route address. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get in touch with Assistant Director Skinner and then I'm going to check out of here. I if you guys have any questions, feel free to office, ask me. I think that we have to hurry. Agent Mulder may be running out of time and if the smugglers do have him held hostage, they have little incentive to keep him alive. Very true. Okay, so, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and save. And I do believe that we have a new place that's opened up. What is the meaning of life? Up or down, left or... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Smart ass. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to do. So we want to go to our PDA. And let's go on ahead and go to Rural Route 1121. We still got some time. You said to ask questions. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Left. Up. And the meaning of life, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> that little PDA of yours is right. I'm impressed. Hey, I'm not afraid of technology. What is it that we're looking for again? Rear quarter panel from a 64 Dodge Dart. Something with the number 82434 on it, right? That's the idea. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Mm. Okay, so what we want to do in this particular area... True, you got me there. Okay, so we want to climb this telephone pole. You will never catch me doing this, by the way. Okay, so it looks like I'm having a hard time trying to find the train, but what we want to do is use our binoculars. Not night vision goggles, binoculars. Okay, well, nothing over here. Over here, perhaps? Oh, hey, look at that. There's a number right there. Let's go on ahead and check it out. 82434. There it is. 
Whose theory do you believe, Mulder's or Scully's? Scully's obviously a by-the-book agent. I think it's great to hear of a detective who's a creative thinker. I'm looking forward to meeting Agent Mulder. So she has a different answer, it seems, in each playthrough. Because the first time I played this, she said, Scully seems to be a nice gal. What could they use this place for? Are you kidding? I'm surprised their operation is this big. The thought of plutonium traveling all over the country via rail is pretty terrifying. Especially considering Amtrak's record. Yeah. This yard is deserted. These boxcars haven't been used in years. Okay, well... Alright, let's see. Let me think. Go through here, perhaps? Hmm, nothing. Okay, so this is where we need. The car's been burned. So, is there a way we can actually enter inside? Oof. Well, obviously, this fire is recent. Well, shit. Okay, so there is one piece of evidence that we want to look for in this place. At least I think. This looks like an operating room of some kind. Mmm, looks like it. Too bad it's still dark that I can't tell. Fuck. Alright, girl, so what do you think? Hmm. Down here. Freeze, FBI. <laughs> okay. Well, I do believe that's all that we're looking for in here. So let's step out. Hey. Hey. Uh-oh. I didn't do nothing. Nobody said that you did. We just want to talk to you. Okay, so welcome the most interesting guy in the entire game. <laughs> We're going to play a little... We're, we're going to speak with him. We're going to speak with him. And then we're going to do a small raid. Is this your home? Is this your home? Home is where the heart is near or far away. That was informative. Very. Have you seen anything strange around here? See anything strange around here? Uh, just the two of you. And the birds, of course. He's a nut. Yep. So, do you know what this place is used for? What's this place used for? Well, Don, the Boy Scouts conduct covert operations out here. Is that so? You seen any men in suits or uniforms running around? Oh, yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah, ask Jane. I'm besieged by sniveling toadies trying to cheat me out of my sugar fortune. Okay. There's been a fire in a boxcar back there. You know anything about that? Sure, Don. I saw the guys who said it. What did they look like? Bloodless yuppies in cheap suits. Two of them. They backed that car up here yesterday and set fire to it in my own backyard. Can you believe that? Uh, I have some stuff, Don. Got it out of that burnt car. You may want it. 
Really? What kind of stuff? What? From the boxcar? Yeah, the boxcar. You tell me, Don. What kind of stuff do I have? Oh shit, it's a guessing game! Save. It's a guessing game! Let me go ahead and just save again, just in case, you know. And, um... We're getting ready for a raid here, so let's make sure that, uh... Let me go on ahead and bring up the... Raid... Message. And make sure you, uh, copy that. And, uh, we will be raiding here shortly, as soon as we are done here. Alright. Um, equipment. Equipment? Clothes. Clothes. Um, computer. Computer? Someday, unless the Japanese have something to do with it. But for now, the answer is no. Hmm. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. You haven't earned a hint yet. Oh. Uh, computer disks? Computer disks. Huh. You're a good guesser. They're all pervasive, that's for sure. Magnetism. The heart of modern man. Keep trying. Um... Floppy disks? Floppy disks? <laughs> They're useless. Forget it. Um... Hard drive. Hard drive. Watch your mouth, son. Dat drive? Dat drive? You're losing me again, son. Uh... Magneto optical drive? Magneto optical drive. It's too complex, too technical. Think linear. Linear, linear, linear. Tape recorder? Tape recorder. You're a bloodhound. You're closing in now. What kind? Mm. Video. Audio tape recorder. Audio tape recorder? Oh, what a shame. What a disappointment. I thought you had so much potential. Aren't you embarrassed to be with this guy? Sorry. You lose. That's not a joke. You lose. If you you have so many guesses, and if you um happen to be wrong on any of them, that's a game over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for real though. Um, photographs. Photographs. Photos. I'm not saying yes. I'm not saying no. You're in the neighborhood. Um. Uh... Still pictures. Moving pictures. Moving pictures. Yes and no. Yes and no. Hmm. Videotape. Videotape? Yes, sir. We have a winner. Videotape it is. Congratulations. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Uh, ten bucks. Don't even have the ten bucks, Wilmore. Good fucking job, mate. Good doing business with you. Thanks. He was an um, interesting fellow, but now we got a videotape. So once we have the videotape, we're done here. <laughs> we are done here. So let's go to our um, let's go to our PDA and. Um, Ooh, mail. Let's check that out first. How do I do that again? There we go. Everyone prepare for uh, copying that hedgehog incoming message. Mm. Monte Puffin preliminary bomb for Inzex. Mm. What have we got here? I have completed an initial analysis of the bomb type that destroyed the structure in Charnel, Washington. I'm a little concerned. This was a very professional device. I believe it used a compound called HDW907, which is an extremely powerful blast chemical used exclusively by U.S. military, Navy SEALs to be exact. 
It is a super stable compound that starts as two separate catalytic agents. That, oh, shit. Okay. So, it was a bomb. Cool. Thanks. So, let's go to navigation. Let's go to the, uh... Let's go on ahead and head to the field office. And then we are actually going to save and quit here for the evening. And we will continue this tomorrow. We will continue this tomorrow. But I am saying this right now, ladies and gentlemen, that we are nearing the end of the game. Put it in. We are nearing the end of the game. Now, whether or not tomorrow will be the last session or the next day, who knows? But, who knows? But, what I do know is that I am out of time for tonight. And we're going to go on ahead and give a special raid to someone. So, let's go on ahead and see who we will be raiding tonight. Hmm. <laughs> what are we in the mood for? What are we in the mood for? We could probably go on ahead and... Hmm... <laughs> Are we in the mood to raid Soga for Super Smash Brothers? Are we in the mood to raid someone that's playing Doom at the moment? Are we in the mood to raid Ty that's doing Kingdom Hearts? Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. You know what? I mean, hmm. well, first off, let me go ahead and bring up the raid message again. Make sure that everyone copies this. You have a suggestion? Go on ahead. What's your suggestion? They went offline. Okay. Well, let's go on ahead and we're gonna go on ahead and um, we're gonna go on ahead and raid some guy. And he's doing Super Smash Bros. This is to pay him back uh, for lurking on my stream the other day and giving me a follow. So we're gonna go on ahead and do that. And once we are ready to go on ahead and do that, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, tomorrow we will be going through some more X-Files. And, uh, yeah, so until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Blue Hedgehog 2010, as always. Happy gaming, my friends.